red. It totally makes my day to come out here and, and watch somebody catch fish. And I especially like getting that on camera because that way if I totally get skunked, uh, at least we have a catch that, that, gets, that gets to happen on camera like this. And we're starting the video off with it. That's a good sign too. And that's a heck of a good fish too, man. Good job, good catch. Hey, special thanks to Cal Cal Boots for hooking me up with these boots that I'm wearing out here on the jetty. I'm not the biggest fan of wearing shoes in general, but I wanted a pair of these. These are super comfortable and they are priced right. I got a link up above if you want to try them yourself. You can do it. Go. Savvy and I went down to the jetty because we really wanted to try to take advantage of what was supposed to be some pretty clear conditions, clear water, no wind, and that wasn't exactly the case. <laughs> now we are driving down here to the beach. We're going to find Savannah's grandparents, and we're going to try and catch some fish out here. I want to get Savannah into a shark. I think she needs a set of shark jaws, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I want fish to play with. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Wait, I want, I want the catfish again. You want to, no, no hard ends. No tourist trout, please. Oh, there's there's your grandparents. Yeah, I, I was like, wait a minute, that can't be. Perfect. And so scratch all of that. We got down to the beach and the currents were ripping. The wind is just like coming out of nowhere. We had to make an executive decision. We're gonna see if we can't get ourselves some fish down at Fish Pass. Something. Yeah, he's taking you around. What do you got? Skip jack. Got a good size skip jack. Making our bait back. Exactly what I'm using for bait here. Let me go chunk the skip jack. this whole day planned out so perfect it's been gorgeous all week no wind clear water no surf the surface is flat and i've been missing out on all of this great weather and then savannah and i had a day off and i was like dang man i want a daddy daughter day i want to go get her into a shark 
I want to get her to do some spear fishing. Now I'm frustrated. The conditions suck. Van is being a trooper. Keeping me dead. Not the day that I was wanting. Bums me out here. <laughs> Look at all those birds working over there. Hoping there's some bycatch of guys swimming around the end of that jetty over there and coming out to where our lines are. That, that's my hope. So we got skunked at the fish pass. Rich caught a couple of little fish. You got that skipjack and that whiting. Uh, I didn't get the whiting on camera. Well, Savvy and I decided to take one last look over here on the Port Rains jetty and, uh, you know, a little bit north of there to see if maybe the conditions were a little bit better. And they are. We messed up. We should have been out here the whole time. We could be spearing this. Dude, that's clear enough. We can see the bottom over here. Let's go then. You want to? Well, heck yeah, let's do it then. All right, let me get my gear. Put it in my pocket. that out of the water. That's whip coral. That's not fishing stuff, that's an actual coral we want to leave in the water. <laughs>
I think that is the catch of the day is the Spider-Man glasses. And my pockets are full. I think it's that time we gotta go. Okay. Alright. We took all of our finds from the jetty and I soaked them overnight in CLR to get all of the rust and calcium deposits and everything off of them and we scrubbed them down so that we could have a good look at the treasures that we managed to pull on the jetty. We have to scrub. We need to scrub what? Where did your scrub go? I never had a scrub. You had the one that you were scrubbing your mask with. That's not my scrub. It's heavy. It's crusty on the sides. It's scraped up. It's oh my a good God. thing that it's heavy. If it bears, you can always hit them with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's starting to rain. I love it. That is just, that's the most perfect end of the day. Swimming, snorkeling, you get to see clear water, you get to see all that cool stuff. Then you get to end the day getting washed off in the rain. When I originally started off with this entire day, I had it planned out like days in advance. We were gonna have this wonderful daddy-daughter day. Then things didn't turn out the way that I wanted them to. If it is not the absolute perfect day, it, it hurts my feelings. You can see that throughout the course of the video. We weren't able to do the things that I wanted to do. It's really being fizzled on. <laughs> Look, ending it with some rain is kind of nice though. The original intention of this video was to have that perfect daddy-daughter day and I got kind of wrapped up in it being the perfect day and the perfect video and all that stuff and I kind of did that for a reason. One of the purposes of this channel is so that when we are all older or maybe when we're not around anymore, Savannah has things that she can show her kids and grandkids about the times that she had growing up. A year ago, we went and did this and had a blast collecting lures and doing stuff out in Port Aransas off of the jetty. Let's take a quick look at all of the cool stuff we were able to get our hands on. Yeah, <laughs> let's just take a look and see what we got. I've got nothing. Oh, also, I should probably say, uh, hi, grandkids and, and great grandkids. It's the lovely guy that we've been finding to see, but we just found randomly. Yeah. We have some weights. The piece would break on one. Lead, of course, is worth a ton. And these, these things are like five, six bucks a piece. These are three or four piece, and that one is still in perfect shape right there. And then, of course, lead. We will end up melting this down and turning it all into uh, uh, weights for offshore. Uh, check that guy out. He must have been in the water for like five minutes because he's in perfect shape. I didn't have to scrub him down at all. Got a nice little selection, a couple of hooks and things, and they're always good to have. This is the creme de la creme. These guys are six to eight bucks a piece. And every single one of them is in just really good condition. They will all work perfectly fine. Yeah. And not a bad way to end. A freaking awesome haul. A little tour of Texas jetties out on Pottery Island. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you on and uh, take you along with us in future videos. Can't wait to see you in the next video. That's going to be it right there. Of course, you can check out our entire Season 6 playlist right down there.